I don't think it was a bad idea to cut it short, was it? Uh, let's see. How far are we going to go down? Not that far. Let's go. Hopefully, hopefully that the bird that was trying to kill us outside is not following us. I know that will tend to happen at some point. my way across. Yeah. Holy shoot. It's uh held like this for 19 years, right? Well <laughs> don't answer. I'm quite surprised. Oh, right. Glad that's over. It was a short bridge though. Where are you going up? Okay, climb up. Seems... Seems like a safe spot, I guess. This must have been where they lived. It's not dead. Once, this was all enclosed by rock and metal. It's a voice log there. Evacuation happens so fast. No time to think things through. No time for goodbyes. There were lines in the medical ward. I told Tom Paik I'd be with him when he went under. But there was one last shipment of parody Saiyajin zygotes I could get processed if I rushed. Elizabeth's room. I know it. I was listening to the audio log for the first time ever. These are her journals. Elizabeth's journals. And they're all destroyed? Scan them. The focus can rebuild them, but the process is slow. And the repair? To us, it seems a powerful device, but its engine is tiny and limited. How slow? Days, weeks. Years. This was her room? Concern yourself with stopping Hades and exploring. But it has like a big, big ass ton on the back, so how, how's that her room? Elizabeth. What is this? This is Charles Ronson. I'm logging this six hours after final deployment of Gaia Prime. This morning, an access port seal malfunctioned. Gaia Prime's port seals were designed to close with a seam of less than two millimeters. But this one closed with a ten millimeter gap. Enough for an energy signature to bleed through. Enough for the swarm to detect this facility. Oh, this is Enough so grave, isn't Gaia it? Enough to be discovered and destroyed. Enough to end the future we worked so hard to make possible. Unless the hatch servos were manually re-engaged from the outside. I'm now switching to a recording of the event. Well, I'm not going out there. Now who have I signed up for? Either we send someone out, or all of this was for nothing. It should be Liz's decision. So when is she going to get here? She said five minutes. You don't think... Oh no. Okay, everyone. I've repaired the seal. Gaia? Seal she sounds so similar to Alloy. Confirmed. Elizabeth, no. We'll find a way to bring you back in. It's not gonna happen. The swarm's too close. Really. It's alright. Gaia's complete. She'll take care of things from here on out. That's what she does. Not like this. There's so much we... Guys, you know me. I'm... I'm no good endings at letting things end, so, um, let's not. So, happy trails, Liz, and uh, see you around. Yeah. Take care of each other, all right? Liz. I'm okay with this. I want to go home. 
Goodbye. So is she dead? She probably she probably passed away. That was the last transmission of Elizabeth Sobeck. She gave everything for the hope of life on this planet. And we are all in her debt. Oh, wow. Aloy? She's home. Really gone. You knew she couldn't have survived, Aloy. And her achievements were. And besides, this was like 300 years ago or something, so. While her people bickered, she was the one who took responsibility. The only one who could. She was better than them. That's not what I said. She was. You shouldn't be afraid to admit it. Saying that shows you misunderstand her completely. To her, everyone had value. Everything was worth saving. She gave her life in service to that idea. Even after everything you've learned, you still don't get it. The simplest thing about her, and the most important. No. She had a superior mind, and a superior will. It wasn't about sentimentality. You're wrong. Remember, she knew it wasn't enough for Gaia to think. She taught Gaia to feel. To care, to sacrifice, to believe in life. Enough to fight against hopelessness. If it wasn't for that sentimentality, life would have ended. You and I would never have existed. Your argument is sound. I'm sorry for your loss. She said she wanted to go home. Maybe. What? Nothing. It's time to go on. She still thinks she's alive? But to be honest... Wouldn't her home be where this girl found the thing? The little Dorito? I mean... How, how would she find one there? And, and if that's the only one that is allowed to see the, the previous hologram that we saw the on the other place, then that means her home was always on that cave that we, that we fell in like a long time ago. So... Huh. Seems interesting. I might, I might have cracked the whole cold here, but I'm good at this, I guess. There's another section at the back of the crater. Looks like it survived the blast. Because it was armored, you found the control room. I'm on my way. This thing's being hanged by a little thread. Oh, don't, don't fall down. Go just jump across the edge. You don't need to grab anything. This way. So supposedly we're supposed to fight a machine. I don't know what machine they're talking about. Like earlier. But we might stumble across from that machine. At some point. Am I going the right way? Yeah, we are. Seems like this is the way. Oh, what the hell? What happened here? What? When I opened the hatch, the air rushed in from this side. Because there was none inside the chamber. But the alphas were in there. I'm locked out of core control. Alpha clearance overridden. What the hell is Omega clearance? Oh no. Alpha personnel. Sorry to alarm you, but I need you to listen, okay? To what I'm about to say. 
this isn't easy. See, uh, I've, uh, please, stop trying to access the system, okay? See, see, what this is about is, um, I said stop trying to access the goddamn system. What I'm trying to say is I can't stop thinking of oh, the ones who come after them. us. Those innocents. Those blameless men and, 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 and women. We're going to give them knowledge? Like it's a gift? Ted, Ted, we've talked about this before. Apollo has 3,000 plus failsafe conditions. It's not a gift, it's a disease. They're the cure, and we're going to give them the disease. Our disease? No, we can't. And it's not too late. If we're willing to sacrifice... Ted. It doesn't need to be like this. It already is, Samina. I did it three minutes ago. I've purged Apollo. It's gone. All of it. Every copy. A sacrifice? It's not a sacrifice. It's cultural obliteration, you crazy bastard. Millennia of culture. I'm sorry. Really, I am. But sometimes, to protect innocence, innocents have to die. Emergency alert. Venting atmosphere. Oh, what? What? What's that about? Why we were trapped in benighted ignorance for an innocent future. Blameless men. <laughs> he never saw the slaughter in the sun ring. Everything these people achieved, all the knowledge of the old ones, evaporated, turned to dust, scattered to the void, like the alphas themselves. No. Not a void. When the hatch unsealed and scattered their ashes on the wind, it took them out among the world they made. The world we are living in. It's, it's a monument to what they died trying to accomplish. A monument to oblivion. Not oblivion, silence. Oh. Huh. Claim the master override? Master override. It's so small. Now all you have to do is kill Hades with it. Huh. Guess we're almost done. <laughs> it looks like there's not a lot of danger going on either, so. Where are we supposed to go this way? Alright, let's go. Try not to fall to your death. The master oh, thank you. <laughs> I was about to say, all right, thank you. Yeah, I won't. Freaking falls into the death next second. Oh my god, I didn't want to do that. Uh, I mean, I jumped as high as possible to like slide down. I don't know what the hell happened there. Don't fall into your death. <laughs> falls into the death. Maybe stuff is falling down, that's why, like, it's shaking for a little bit. That's why there's earthquakes. Good. Try not to fall to your death. The master override doesn't override gravity. It could. You teach Mother Nature how. I'm going the right direction. Am I cheating my way up or something? Am I supposed to even go like that? I'm not even sure. 
I swear, I think I'm like cheating my way up on that little part. Because there was no other way up, to be honest. Now we gotta climb up. Climbing simulator, fuck you. Yeah. Right. Over here. Uh, oh, what the here. hell? For a moment. What? Our journey together has come to an end, Aloy. But what? before I go, I think I owe it to you to tell you the rest of the story. Go on. Some time ago, I admitted that I'd been involved with the eclipse. But I never told you the full extent of my culpability. The truth is... Yeah, like how did you I get some neon sticks on your face and arms? I found Aloy, buried on that mountain, trapped in that shattered titan. And I served it. What? It promised knowledge and delivered such knowledge you have no idea. And in exchange? I helped create the Eclipse. Helped it build a cult, an army to do its will. Why are you telling Wait a me minute. This now? Because your success depends on knowing this. <laughs> when I found Hades, the first thing it wanted to know about was the Spire. Not Meridian. The Spire. Now why would that be? The Spire was created by Gaia. Which part of Gaia? M Minerva. It's code-breaking module. Gaia built spires to transmit the codes that deactivated the Pharaoh robots, shut down their biomatter conversion systems. Hades wants to send a new transmission to wake the machines so they can devour the world all over again. Yes. Based on what we've learned, that's my conclusion as well. So the Eclipse... The robots they've resurrected, they're just a means to an end. An army to capture the Spire. Yes. So Hades can exterminate life all over again. Unless you... But why do they want to do that? That's what I don't get. Why would enemies... Why would the enemies want to do that if they're going to die themselves? Not that they're going to turn into robots or something. But I guess they want to like rule with robots and they think they're not going to like turn against them. I think that's what's going on. So how do I stop Hades? I've done all I can. From here on out, the rest is up to you. Take my lance. Fit the master override to it, and you have a means of injection. Then I just need to get close enough to Hades' skull to stab it in? Exactly. Oh, no problem. Silence! <laughs> Where will you go? Elsewhere and everywhere. There's so much more to discover before the world ends. And all this? I leave it to you, of course. As it turned out, it was yours all along. I was merely trespassing. <laughs> I guess so. Ah. Is that going to replace the current one that I have? Awesome. Nice. At least I don't have a stick no more. This time it's metallic. Aaron was going to the palace. Maybe he can get me an audience. So where am I supposed to go now? All the way down to the palace. I can fast travel. Damn, look at how far I went. 
pretty far. Okay. Oh well guys, I'm gonna end the recording here. I mean it was awesome knowing more about the story. We're probably super close into finishing the game. Super close. And uh well the story is interesting guys. It's very quite interesting. So I'll see you guys later and subscribe for more Horizon 